morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, we do not have the fish finder on today, so that means one thing and one thing only, that means we're on the Delta. Back on the California Delta, I'd say it's like a full swing summer deal, hitting about 90 to 100 every day. The wind is cranking. I mean, every forecast, every day, it seems like for the past three months, it's like 20 mile an hour winds by noon. It's actually surprisingly calm right now, so fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, a little summer bass fishing on the California Delta. One nice thing about summer fishing, especially the Delta, at least for me, is less rods, which typically means a little more efficiency. You can see today we've only got five rods on deck. These are my summer choices, I guess you could say. We got a popper, a frog, a drop shot, a chatterbait, and then a punch bait. So uh, that's what we got today. I haven't been to the Delta or this area of the Delta in a minute. So as always, we're just gonna see what happens. Hopefully they're biting. Maybe put a few good ones in the boat. Stay tuned. starting bait I think it's got to be the popper especially with this you can see the, the tide moving so these fish should be setting up on these edges right here oh, finally a little something pop at it that was a little something too. There we go. That's what we we're waiting for. Just took a minute. There we go. Solid fish. Delta. Delta popper love. Nice. Very nice. God, this popper is just working lately. A solid one, right? I know a lot of you guys have been, not a lot of you guys, but a handful of you guys. Give me some feedback when I weigh them. You guys appreciate the weights, just to give you a little reference. So, I'll weigh them today for you. Well, 112 to start the day on the popper and the dance. Okay, good. Just gotta find the right area. bank without catching one and then one little stretch dude it looks like the same fish another thick one though one fourteen alrighty 14. Man, these fish are jumping. Let's do it again. Maybe let that area rest a little bit. <laughs> Another one. Dude, wow. Okay, I've ne this has never happened to me before. I've never just pulled up on a spot on the delta like this and had three fish in a row. I promise you I haven't, not on a top water. Feels like, these are all like clones, I think. Is that a bigger one? Oh, it's a bigger one. Three casts in a row. 
Oh yeah, look at that one. That one's got a lot more weight to it. Dude. Three casts in a row with a popper. It's gotta be a three yonder. Take a look at that one. Thank you, sir. Man, I don't even know what to say. They're just biting right now. Alright, four for four. What do you guys think? Four for four. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh my god. That's pretty wild. This one might not be a keeper, but it's four for four. Wow. How about that, folks? How about that? There must be a ton of fish sitting there. Must be. Five for five? Ugh. This is very unexpected. See, why can't tournaments be like this? You just pull up to a spot and just catch them. I mean, to be honest, it has happened before, just not very often. All right, four for four, I think. Not bad, four for four. <laughs> There's gotta be more there, though. So weird. I thought it was gonna be crazy windy this morning. And that weather's never right. Like right now on the weather app, it says 16 mile an hour winds. Pretty sure this isn't 16. Whereas the other other week when we were at Clear Lake, it said it was like six to eight mile an hour winds, and it felt like we we're in 40. Seriously, just never never know with the weather forecast. came airborne. Did you see that one? That one came out of the water. Oh, oh come on. I'm tangled up. How'd that fish miss it? Wow, that's cool. I'm still thinking about that first little spot we had. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about it. I can't seem to leave it right now. I don't want to leave it in case there was a bunch of fish there I was potentially potentially missing. So let's go back there just real quick. See if we can pick up a few more. There's got to be more over there. May have given them enough time to reset too. Sometimes you need to back off a spot after you jack a few and come back in a few minutes. Let them kind of forget you were there. Wacky pair of scissors. Let's jam back there real quick. Wasn't ready. Oh man. Foul hooked him, I think. Yeah, foul hooked him. Wow. Look at that dude. Sorry, dude. Chunk. Another solid one. 
another what two pounder? It's gotta be another two. Man, I thought he was a lot bigger than that the way he hit. 115, another two pounder. <laughs> Man, freaking fat fish. Oh, oh God, easy tiger. excited there. See a couple of things over here I gotta try real quick. Isolated hyacinth patches. Part of the delta, or an area of the delta, I've never fished before. Apparently there's fish though. Not a big one, but man, they love this popper. They love it. Dude, look how fat that one is. That one's got a belly. See a little crawfish pincher in there. Belly. Yeah, I keep it coming. I'll keep throwing that popper until he tells us not to. He's got so much confidence with this bait right now. I just feel like it is the most productive bait with this current this time of day. I don't think there's another bait that could outfish the popper right now. <laughs> Even the micros are grabbing on. Man, oh man. Look at the little guys have the bellies on them. And you can see. Look at the belly on this fish. Dude, that's crazy. That is a huge little belly. Oh man, you can see too. They're munching on maybe shad, but uh, definitely crawfish. Little belly shirt. <laughs> might be punch time, it might be. I'm starting to feel like it's punch time. Shatter bait. Shatter bait always works on the Delta. That one like hit that on the fall. I saw the line just swim off.
there's that wind. Chatter. Oh wow, did you see that? I didn't. I was looking at that five mile an hour post right at the boat. It's weird. Oh geez, that's a big one. and the bass are setting up the same way. I crushed the popper. Guys, I think this is a record. 927, not even 930. And we are off the water. And I'd say normally this would be a bad thing. It probably means we're going to get an early breakfast at in and out Quite the opposite, the wind pushed us off, but uh, man, solid, solid day. Like I said, I had five baits that, uh, I, I don't know, I'm pretty confident going into summer fishing on the Delta with, again, the Senko, the Popper, the Punch the frog and the chatterbait. It happened to be the popper. Once again, that popper was just getting bit. I mean, you gotta remember the Delta, Delta's a river. There's a lot of current and those fish set up and what better bait to ambush than a little popper on top, especially when they set up right under those mats and they're looking out past that current. So, got a few bites on the chatterbait as well, but uh, man, it was definitely a popper kind of day, which I will certainly take and uh, just goes to show why exactly you get up super early before the sunrise. Take advantage of that early morning top water bite because like we saw here, 9.30, and it's blowing pretty hard. Pretty sure I'm not gonna be getting bit on the popper anymore. Anyways, that was today's video. As always, thank you guys for coming along, and uh, catch you in the next video. See ya.